Yeah, Latina Action Day was filled with women in different industries ranging from tech to lawmakers and all of them out here with one common goal and that is to amplify the roles of Latinas in leadership. It's been nearly 30 years since the first Latina Action Day took place in California. We're seeing a tide change of accessibility, equal representation, a lot more work to be done, but a good progress to celebrate. Since then, one in five women in the state are either Hispanic or Latinas making up the highest demographics through different industries, occupations, and even services sought. With my work with Planned Parenthood, uh, we are very intersectional. The highest demographic of patients we serve are Latinas. And so it's very, very much important for us to be here today on that front as well. Since 1994, the Golden State has seen many changes, including over 20 Latinas now serving in the state and the assembly and health care that now benefits undocumented immigrants. Despite the advancements, Hispanas Organized for Political Equity or HOPE stress that those changes need to keep moving forward. It's important for Latinas' voices to be amplified and heard. Latinas also are 50% of the mothers of our children here in California. So if we don't have a seat at the table, if we're not being listened to, we're neglecting a majority of our state. This includes research. Despite making up 20% of the total population in the state, Latinas in research only make up a slight fraction of professionals. I've seen some of the most powerful changes at Amazon come from our employee groups, from our Latinas and Latinos who are working in tech and trying to create better products for our customers. Potentially allowing for inaccurate targeting of Latinas' interests. Please make your voice heard. Si se puede. Muchas gracias. The event started this morning and runs until 7.30 tonight with many of those women traveling from across the state. Live in downtown Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA for News.